A marine scientist says almost all corals in the shallow waters of Escoda Shoal may already be dead. Dr. Jonathan Anticamara of the University of the Philippines Institute of Biology says this discovery was made during a two-day diving expedition in parts of Escoda Shoal. According to Anticamara, the expedition noted quote-unquote extensive bleaching of Escoda Shoal corals. A majority or almost all of the shallow water ng Escoda Shoal are now dead. Uh, yung mga corals. So, given the trend, kasi wala, walang exemption eh. There's no space na nakikita namin na may buhay pa na natira. So, for me, ang interpretation ko dan ay that's really an ecological disaster for Escoda. What we found on the first day ay extensive na masyado yung bleaching. Last month, the Philippine Coast Guard reported that crushed corals were dumped in Escoda Shoal in a development that could be a prelude to the emergence of an artificial island. According to PCG spokesperson for the West Philippine Sea, Commodore J. Tariela, this possible dumping of crushed corals was learned during the deployment of BRP Teresa Magbanwa in the area. Tariela said the ship's deployment was done after Anticamara found coral rubble or dead coral fragments quote-unquote piled on Pag-asa Case 1, 2, and 3 that are now exposed during high tide. In a presentation on May 4, Anticamara said development in Pag-asa Case are quote-unquote possible products of island-building activities.